What's up? My name is Gabo, and today I'm going to show you a guide of how to fix games that are stuck on a loading screen. As a first step, click on the search box and type in Device Manager. Here you have to click on Device Manager. After that, click on Display Adapters. Then choose your specific graphics card, right click, and choose Update Driver. Here you have to click on Search Automatically for Drivers. Then click on Close, and close the windows. This method is not always sufficient. If the problem hasn't been solved yet, download the latest driver from the internet. Open a web browser and type in the model of your graphics card, but in the description you can find the links to download drivers for all sorts of video cards. And download the driver. I have an NVIDIA graphics card, so I'll click here. Here, you have to click on the Download Now button, and wait until it downloads. The download has been finished, then start the installer. Click on the Agree and Install button. Log in to the NVIDIA app, then click on the drivers, and click on Search for Software Updates. If the software finds any updates, then download it. After that, close the NVIDIA application and restart your computer to try to start the game. Now if that didn't work, click on the search box and type in Graphics Settings. Click on Graphics Settings. Search your games in the list. If you can't find the game you're looking for, then use the Browse button to add the startup file of the game. I created a file called Game for this video. Don't let it confuse you. Choose the game and click on the Options button, and select High Performance Mode, and then Save. And now you can close the window. Start up Steam. Click on the library and search for the game. I created a file called Game for this video, so don't let that confuse you. Right click on it and choose Properties. Click on the installed files. Then click on the Verify Integrity of Game Files button. Wait until it finishes. When it's ready, click on the browser button. Then right click on the game application and click Properties. Click on Compatibility tab. Take in the Run this program in compatibility mode. Try Windows 7 and Windows 8 mode. And take in the Disable full screen optimizations as well. The Run This Program as Administrator function doesn't always work. If it's enabled, it might cause the game not to start, but try it anyway. I only recommend the run in 6040 by 480 resolution in the worst case scenario, as it significantly decreases the resolution quality. Click on Apply and OK. And finally, you're ready to play the game. If that didn't work, Click on the search box and type in Updates. Click on the Check for Updates button. After that, click on Check for Updates. If the search has found any update, then download it. If the download has been finished, then restart your computer. Right-click on the taskbar and open the Task Manager. Then click on Startup Apps. Disable the apps that you don't use all the time. And then close the Task Manager and restart your computer. Click on the search box and type in Firewall. Click on Allow an app through Windows Firewall. 
and click on Change Settings. Search for the game. If you don't find the game, then add it by clicking on the Allow Another App button and add a game. I created a file called Game for this video. Enable the game and the private and public network. And then click on OK. Click on the search box and type in CMD. Right click on CMD and run as administrator. Type in SFC slash scan now. This will restore the corrupted files in the system. Wait for the process to complete. It may take a while. When it's ready, then close the window and restart your computer. If that didn't work, click on the time with a right click and choose Adjust Date and Time. After that, turn on Set Time Zone Automatically and turn on Set Time Automatically. And then click Sync Now. And close window. Right-click Ethernet and select Network and Internet Settings. Click Proxy. Then click Setup. Turn off the proxy server and save. Close the window. Click on the search box and type in CMD. Right click on Command Prompt and click on Run as Administrator. And paste from the commands from the description one by one. If you're ready with them, close CMD and restart your computer. If that didn't work, right-click Ethernet and select Network and Internet Settings. And then click Advanced Network Settings. Click Network Reset. And then Reset Now. Click Yes. Close and restart your computer. If that didn't work, click on the search box and type in Control Panel. Click on Control Panel. Click Network and Internet. Then click Network and Sharing Center. Then click Change Adapter Settings. Right-click your network and click Properties. And select TCP slash IP protocol for version. And click Properties. Choose the use the following DNS server addresses. Type in the preferred DNS server, 8.8.8.8. .8 Type in the alternate DNS server, 8.8.4.4 and click OK. Close all of the windows and then restart your computer.